Hey guys, Stealth here. Time to do a review on the Samson Destroyer. This American Tier 2 destroyer is the first actual destroyer that you're going to be sailing. At least in the closed beta test that we're in right now. This ship is the first destroyer class that you unlock after you've played a couple of games with the Airy class. Now the difference between cruisers and destroyers is that destroyers are much faster. They also have a lot less survivability. You can see that this one only scores 10 out of 100 points versus the Airy, which also sits at 100, but keep in mind you're going up a tier, so you'd expect a bit more survivability. If I compare it to the Chester, you're going to see that the Chester, which is also a tier 2 cruiser, has 17 survivability. Now, destroyers don't have a heavy armament like the cruisers and or battleships. They carry lesser armament, um, which makes them faster, because the turrets and the guns aren't as heavy but they make up in firepower by using torpedoes. Now you can see that I have the base Samson class destroyer here. I already have it fully upgraded, but I haven't installed those upgrades yet, and I'm going to do that now. You can see that the base guns are on the bow of the ship, one on the starboard, one on the port, and then another one on the rear of the ship, or the aft. So keep in mind, you can only bring three out of four guns to bear on a target at maximum. One of them is always going to be on the wrong side of the ship. Torpedo launchers, it has four on each side, that is. Two on the starboard flank on the aft, two on the bow side. And on the port flank, two more on the aft, and two more pretty much midships. It's a fast ship, definitely a fast ship. You can see that the maneuverability-wise, it travels at 30 knots. And unfortunately, you can no longer uh, buff this to an even higher speed since it doesn't have any engine upgrades, so we're just going to have to go at 30 knots, but even that is very, very quick. Turn radius is good, and rudder shift time, which is the time that the uh, rudder takes to go from one side of the ship to the other, is decent. This makes it a very, very mobile ship. Now, concealment-wise, um, the ship has be or has to be within 5.9 kilometer range before it can be detected. This is not the range at which you can detect enemies. That range is probably a little bit bigger, but I haven't been able to figure out where you can find that yet. The air detection range is less, which means that um, aircraft are going to have to close to within 3 kilometers to find you and identify you as an enemy warship. Now, IA guns, it doesn't have that many. It only has this one 37mm gun on the bow of the ship. And you can see it being right up here. Um, don't expect this thing to be defending you too much, because that's not exactly what they were designed to do. They were just an AA gun uh, since modern or since aircraft weren't that big of a threat back in the day. As I mentioned, torpedo launchers, the base torpedo launchers do a lot of damage already, 5,900 damage apiece, and they have a maximum range of 4.5 kilometers. Now, as we install the upgrades, you're going to see that range increase, and you're also going to see the maximum damage increase. Reload time on these torpedoes is good. 22 seconds is very, very quick, and with this, you can be sure to fire a lot of salvos. Now, keep in mind, this is 22 seconds per torpedo launcher, so you can fire two, two, or two um, torpedoes and, for example, wait 10 seconds and then fire the other one. And if you keep doing that with these two tubes, you can just fire another salvo of torpedoes pretty much every 10 seconds. So you can have a lot of torpedoes in the water. And the torpedoes really are the main damaging system of this ship. As the artillery doesn't do that much damage. You can see that the armament of here, which is currently the 102mm, we're going to upgrade that later. It does a maximum damage of 1940, has a decent shell dispersion, it is not the most accurate. Uh, maximum HE damage is quite a bit lower, so if you have the chance, try to go for air armor penetration. And um, survivability of the ship, as I mentioned, is not as high as, for example, a cruiser. It has almost no armor, 6 to 13 millimeters, means that almost every shell, uh, pretty much including HE, is going to do a lot of damage to this ship. Now time to upgrade it. I already have it unlocked, as I mentioned. So the first upgrade is upgrading the Samson from the 1917 version to the 1931. And you're going to see that we're gaining a little bit of hit points. Combat capacity goes up to 9100. We're also getting one more armor, uh, sorry, one more AA gun. So let's upgrade the ship. And you can see that AA gun wise, um, let's see, we got now one 
under the bow and the other one at the stern of the ship. So that's a bit of an upgrade. Next upgrade is the torpedo launchers, and the torpedo launchers really help this ship. You gain 133 damage per launcher, or sorry, per torpedo. So we're going to mount this, and it's also going to give us faster torpedoes, which means that they will be less, they'll be taking less time to reach their target. Rate of fire is dipping a little bit by 0.1, but I'm not too worried about that. So, now we have a little bit more torpedoes, we have a bit more fire capacity. Now it's time to also add the better uh, gun control system, and this will add 10% firing range and increase it from 7.8 to 8.6. And with this, you got a pretty decent destroyer. Keep in mind, it's only tier 2. You don't need a lot of experience to unlock it. Um, if you're coming from the Airy, I believe that the Samson takes you um, about 1500 experience. But that may be a little bit on the high end, I'm not entirely sure. So, let's have a look at some gameplay. As mentioned, the ship will have to rely on torpedo fire, ambushing tactics, and one thing that the destroyers have as a specialty is deploying smoke screens. So with the smoke screen you can quickly um, disappear, and you can help your allies disappear. So if you're using a platoon, or as they call it here, a division, you can create a smoke screen for your allies and make sure that they can also sneak up on the enemy undetected. That is, if they're not firing their main guns. So, let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look at how this ship performs in some combat. You can see that I still don't have a lot of hit points on this ship, as I mentioned in the review earlier. The ship has 9100 hit points, and considering I'm going up against tier 3 ships, including a couple of destroyers, I might get in trouble there. So what this ship needs to do is rely on cloak, on a little bit of cloak, if you will, with the smoke screen. I can press T and deploy my smoke screen. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to do it as I need it. I'm going to rely on my torpedoes, and I need to make you good use of these islands to make sure I don't present myself as a big target, because cruisers really, really like destroyers in the sense that they are extremely easy to destroy. So what I'm going to do is hide behind these islands and wait for some other ships to provide cover. Now a bit about the icons on the minimap. You can see that the icons that are out here, um, the small play buttons, if you will, are destroyers. The uh, slightly bigger icons with a stripe down the middle is a cruiser. And if you see a ship which has two stripes, it's going to be a battleship. So let's have a look at this battleship. And you can see that it doesn't really resemble a battleship in a traditional sense. Um, it's a tier 3 ship, I believe, and it is not that modern yet. But it does carry a couple of very, very big turrets, which, if you compare that to, for example, this cruiser back here, doesn't have the same type of big turrets. So that's how you can quickly recognize what kind of ship you're facing by looking at the minimap. Now I'm going to wait until the rest of these ships have formed up. Uh, because these destroyers and cruisers can be a very, very useful distraction for me. And then I'm going to try to get the jump on some of these ships as they are coming out from behind the islands. I could try to hop to this position and try to use that and then come up on these ships. There are a lot of them though, and we only have a couple of destroyers and a cruiser going right through the middle. So let's hope that we can uh, buy enough time to not get hit by torpedoes or a lot of those main guns from the cruisers. So, full speed ahead, trying to jump from island to island. And you can see just how fast the ship accelerates. A moment ago I was um, doing half speed, and right now I'm already at maximum speed at 30 kph. Small hit, and I'm going to switch to armor penetration rounds now because I am firing at a cruiser, the Chikuma. The cruisers have a lot of armor, it's something that my HE shells are not going to do too well against. Now, trying to get some good angles on the ship, I have to turn a little bit, switching back to half speed. Now you can hear, uh, you could have heard the collision alarm go off there. That's because I was getting dangerously close to the island that was right in front of me. And there you go, a big hit on that cruiser, 1200 damage done. Another nice hit. And I'm only using a couple of guns now, not too many yet. I'm going to increase the full speed, I do not want to engage this cruiser for very long. 
Just trying to get a couple of hits into him, and he's too far away from our torpedoes, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to be a bit patient. You can see that someone set him on fire, and he's taking a lot of rounds. Now, these ships are getting nice into range of my torpedoes. So, I'm going to turn and fire off one salvo with the starboard launcher and another one, more or less where the ship is about to be. Then, coming to starboard as fast as possible. Got turn set on fire there. And I'm going to fire another salvo with my port launchers onto this ship. And switching back to my armor penetration rounds next. Unfortunately, my torpedoes on this ship missed, and I have to be careful not to ram into this ship. Let's go for this one first, and hopefully my torpedoes are going to be rearmed. Yep, there you go. Torpedoes are ready, and I got set on fire again. Unfortunately, my second launcher is not ready yet, and my ship is going to take a lot of damage here, but this thing is going with me. There you go. I went down, but I managed to take that ship with me purely because I did 6,000 damage to him with a couple of those torpedoes. Now let's have a look. Um, there are some other destroyers nearby. Let's see, this is the battleship, which has taken quite a bit of damage. And what I'm actually looking for is um, this just, uh, cruiser, sorry, destroyer. And wow, that thing just got hit right amidships and probably went up through the magazine. So you can see just how dangerous torpedoes are. And um, you can see another salvo going over the port bow of this ship here. If you see green icons, that means that the torpedoes were fired by a friendly ship. If you see red icons, it means they were fired by a hostile ship. Another very useful indicator is the torpedo warning marker. Um, I'm not sure if I can have it pop up through other ships. I don't really think so. But you're going to see a couple of arrows indicating where the torpedoes are going to be coming from. You can see that this ship narrowly managed to avoid a spread of five, sorry, six torpedoes. If they would have hit that thing, they would have killed it right away. And this destroyer, sorry, not the destroyer, um, this cruiser appeared from that smokescreen, made very good use of the remaining of, uh, remainder of the smokescreen, and through that it ambushed this ship and managed to blow it up. So, destroyers, very, very dangerous ships. Let's have a look at some more gameplay. Okay, that last battle didn't go entirely according to plan, considering I got blown up by those torpedoes pretty damn early. So, new game. And I'm again using the Samson class destroyer. Matchmaking is decent. Um, I'm on a two on tier two ships. Uh, there are several tier ones from both teams. The enemy has quite a few destroyers. You can see all of these Samsons and the Umikazes. They're all destroyers. The Chakumas are cruisers. On my team, we also have a lot of destroyers and a couple of cruisers. Everything above the Chakuma is a cruiser. So. Um, it's not a domination match. I don't have to worry about trying to capture the enemy base that much. I mean, it's a last resort, really. And I'm looking pretty lonely here. i got a couple of cruisers backing me up so far, but um, I don't feel like I can really rely on those guys because, you know, it's still online gaming. Let's reload the guns with armor penetration because if I'm facing one of those cruisers, I might not... Uh, get the job done if I'm going fully HE. I can see that there are some ships here. This is an airy class unit and there's another cruiser going around that flank so I'm going to turn the ship around and try to do a torpedo run on them as they come around this mountainside. Another destroyer showing up here, turning the guns. In this case armor penetration would have been better. You can hear the collision alarm going off there because the game thinks I'm getting too close to this island. Uh, it'd be right. <laughs> I am getting close to this island. So, turning the ship at one quarter speed. And I did manage to get myself into a bit of trouble here. Moreover, there are quite a few torpedoes coming in. I tried to hit this Clemson class uh, destroyer or cruiser, I'm not entirely sure, but didn't get any. 
There's a ship that's just outside my range. And I managed to wiggle myself free. A couple of torpedoes coming in again. Not really a big threat right now. And there's a Chakuma here. If I can manage to jam a few torpedoes into his side, he's going to go down right quick. And there's the Airy as well. More torpedoes are coming in, so there's definitely another destroyer somewhere around here. And this is probably the guy who's causing the trouble. So, more torpedoes coming in. Let's try to get a shot at that airy first. Torpedoes are in the water. And I'm going to turn it disengage. And there are more torpedoes coming in, not again. Turn! Narrowly avoided that torpedo because I was able to slow down just in time. It's time to fire off another salvo of torpedoes. You can also use torpedoes as a um, dictating weapon to dictate where the enemy is going to go next. And unfortunately, my ally died here, which means I'm now facing off against three enemy warships. I don't really like those odds, so it's time to get the hell out of here. Get within the cover of this island, and for now just engage this cruiser with my main guns. Doing a bit of damage there, not that much yet though. Fire off another salvo just before I managed to pop behind the island. Bit of main gunfire, but no. Didn't get it. Here's that destroyer again. Probably casually waiting for me to pop up. Managed to hit him. But he is in his own smoke screen, and that means he's going to be much, much more difficult to find. Unless he fires off his guns. Which is probably what he did, and that's why I'm hitting him right now. Hit something critical. And I'm still trying to dart in and outside of cover. Managed to hit him a couple more times there. And there's torpedoes coming in. Glad that this cruiser spotted those in time, so now I can adjust my course accordingly. So I know that there's a ship somewhere, but again, concealed. So I cannot really fire torpedoes at him just yet. There he is. Torpedoes in the water, and I'm going to try to come around. The ship is on fire, set on fire by that cruiser back there. Problem solved, sir. There it is. Unfortunately, I only have one gun, which is bearing on the target right now. Still doing some damage, but not that much. And there is more torpedoes coming. Now I'm going to get very, very close to this ship in order to guarantee a torpedo hit. Because that's really the only play that I have here. So I'm going to have to keep closing in on this ship. Very, very risky maneuver. But it is a Chakuma. So they do have quite a few hit points. They might survive that one torpedo run. Probably not, though. Okay, first salvo of torpedoes is in the water. And they're going to hit that ship in about 10 seconds. So this should do the job. You can see that the Chakuma is trying to turn, and it's probably going to manage to outturn these torpedoes. Doing a bit of damage, but not enough, and I'm losing a ton of hit points here. So, let's try to get another salvo of torpedoes in the water, as fast as possible. And, talking about torpedoes, here's another spread. That's one that I managed to avoid. I'm on fire again. I doubt I'm going to survive this encounter, and unfortunately, all of the torpedoes missed. You can see that my bow is completely blown off. Now, we are winning, 10 to 6. Um, still haven't done a lot of damage with my little destroyer, unfortunately, other than that one torpedo run that I showed off earlier. And it seems that all of the enemy ships are concentrated back at my old position, so I want to try and hop over to the one ship that is surviving. and still doing battle with them. And that's this one. We're going to look at a Katori, which is tier 1, and he's probably going to narrowly dodge these torpedoes. Yep. Lucky he got away with that, otherwise he would have gone down right away. And he is messing up that Chakuma. He's 
He's not doing a lot of damage because his guns aren't that likely to penetrate the armor for a lot of damage. And at the same time, he's probably trying to avoid these torpedoes, which again are coming in. And he's not going to survive it this time. There you go. He just lost oh, almost 9,000 hit points. Just three torpedoes hitting that ship. He's on fire, and yeah, he's not going to survive this encounter. So, a bit of gameplay with the Samson Destroyer. Um, I know it was not the best display, but again, I'm still learning this ship because I'm only playing it for a little bit less than 24 hours currently. Hope at least you got an idea of how to use this ship um, and how not to use it, because the way that I professionally managed to steer my ship into those torpedoes was, of course, pretty damn terrible. So, hope you liked watching it. If you did, please hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to my channel. Also check out my website, worldofwarshipsguides.com, as I'm going to be putting up more and more guides on these ships. So for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.